humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome to the first episode of Pokemon Batala! At least for Pokemon Sword and Shield, this is a series I've been doing for a while, but this is the first episode I'm recording for Generation 8, for this new iteration of the series. Anyway, before I go on, let me showcase some of the Pokemon that I plan to use today. I actually don't plan to use Gigalith or Excadrill, but I do plan to use Musharna, Gudra, Lapras, and Quagsire. The truth of the matter is that not all of my Pokemon are perfectly EV trained or have perfect IVs just yet. And truthfully, my Gigalith and Excadrill are not ready for competitive play just yet either. I need another day or two with them. But, Excadrill is one of the most popular Pokemon that people are using right now, so I'm just throwing an Excadrill onto my team so that my opponents might think I'm going to use Excadrill, but really, I'm not going to. Also, I'm on the wrong menu. Anyway, for this first episode, I'm going to go ahead and do a double battle against a random player using this game's versus online mode. Now, I do want to point out, I'll be playing this mode from time to time, and I'm going to record all sorts of matches, but I'm not going to record every single match that I ever play. My goal is to save the most entertaining matches, the matches that I think will be fun to watch. I doubt you guys want to see me get bodied in three or four turns, and I doubt you guys want to see my opponents forfeit on the first turn. My goal is to showcase some crazy strategies that my opponents might do, or that I might do. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and play a few matches, and I'm going to go ahead and showcase the one or two that I think were the most entertaining. So, let's go ahead and play a few matches. Yeah, so I had quite a few opponents disconnect on me or disqualify themselves after the first turn. So, I'm already in rank number two. I received 10 BP, which is cool. Alright, well now I need to break even. I have two wins, two losses. Let's see if I can break it. Also, I really just gotta use the gym leader theme. That's clearly the best battle theme in the game. I don't know why I didn't use that for the first couple of matches, but I'm gonna use it here. Because it's awesome, and I love it, and here we go, my opposing trainer has been found! Let's see, Miguel, rank two. Alright. Us two rank two players are gonna go toe to toe. Let's see, Tyranitar, Copperaja, Talk, whatever that's called, and Teleon. I gotta learn all the Pokemon names. Okay, so I think it would be wise for me to start out with like an all-out attacker set, and then we'll go with Gudra and Lapras in the back. Yeah, it could be a little worrisome if he brings that what's it called, Rillaboom. But otherwise, I really don't foresee an issue. This is an interesting enough team. He doesn't actually have an Excadrill. He does have a Tyranitar, which means he is going to try and run a Sand Stream strategy. Although, if that's the case, he only has one Pokemon that resists the Sand. So, I don't really know what his strategy is, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of rolling with the punches and making stuff up as I go along. But, I think starting with Mawile and Lucario is a good idea. Because Mawile will get Intimidate off. And a fair share of his Pokemon are physical attackers. And then Lucario can hit the Tyranitar hard if he starts off with Tyranitar, which I assume he will. Alright, we've got our gym music. Let's go, Miguel! I'm number 10, you're number 1? <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright, where are we headed? What arena did it say? I wasn't paying attention to that. Oh, okay, we're at the water arena. Cool. I don't really remember the city names that well, I just remember the gyms. Alright, Tyranitar and Inteleon. That's fascinating. Alright. We got the sand stream going, which won't actually harm Lucario or Mawile, so that's nice. And then I will get my Intimidate off. Inteleon, I don't remember if it's a physical or special attacker or not. Again, I'm still trying to remember everything. Tyranitar is certainly a physical attacker, so that Intimidate will definitely mess him up. He might go for Rock Slide. Lucario will certainly be faster. Mawile will not be, so I have to hope that I don't flinch. Do I want a Dynamax? I do, because I think Dynamax will make it so I won't flinch, right? Not the case, because I think it negates Fake Out. Maybe I'm providing false information, but I'm fairly certain that that's correct. That if I Dynamax, I cannot be flinched. So, that should be good. And even if he switches out, I'm still going to deal a ton of damage to something. So, let's just see what happens. If Inteleon is a special attacker and it uses something like Surf, I doubt it would because it would harm its Tyranitar. But if it did have something like that, I might be in trouble. But I think it's going to go for Snipe Shot. Or maybe it has a fighting move and it'll use it on Lucario, but I think I'll be okay. Alright, well I'm Dynamaxing. I don't know if my opponent is. I think this is kind of like Mega Evolutions to where it, the first thing to Dynamax goes to whatever Pokemon has the speed advantage first. And if that's the case, Mawile is certainly not the fastest thing on the field, so I don't think he's Dynamaxing any of his Pokemon this turn. I think I'm in the clear. Let's see if Lucario can get his close combat off. Protect. Alright, that's fine. If Lucario survives this turn, that Tyranitar is going down next turn. It is using Surf. Wow. Lucky guess on my part. Or unlucky guess. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen, but... Oh, man! Mawile is not specially defensive, even though he... Yeah, even so, he got a critical hit on it, and I'm alive. So, that's interesting. Alright, let's see. 
We got Max Starfall that'll change the terrain into Misty Terrain, which is not super concerning. It just means he can't inflict the status condition on me. All right, cool. Inteleon's out. Also, Dragon-type moves will be weaker in case he brings in that Dragapult, which I doubt he will. And even if he does bring in Dragapult, he won't be using a Dragon-type move because both my Pokemon on the field are Steel-types and they would resist him. Also, Mawile would be immune. Okay, so that's one Pokemon down. He might have Copperaja in the back if he brought Tyranitar. He might have that Rillaboom. What were the other Pokemon? I already forgot. I should have. I should have written these things down. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. I will know better going forward. Drag. Oh, he did bring Dragapult. That's the next thing you want to bring in. You probably have like a fire move or a ground move or something. That's fine. Uh, my concern is still trying to take out the Tyranitar, and then we'll just do Max Starfall again. Yeah, no way you're using a Dragon move. That would not make any sense. I suppose you just could be using a Ghost type move, but I'm I'm pretty sure you're going for fire or ground. You're trying to go for a super effective hit. That's probably why you sent out. Dragapult. I trust that you made it to rank 2 because you made some smart plays and you probably know what you're doing. Alright, what do we got? Protect? Alright. That's fine. My main concern is Tyranitar right now. My my Dynamax move will hit you anyway. So here we go. Close combat. That should one-shot you. Great. Four times effective. Stab. Close combat. And then I've got my White Herb to negate the defense. Special defense falls. So goodbye Tyranitar. Two down. Final two are about to be on the field. Great, great, great. Yep, my defenses are fine. And then Max Starfall will only deal, what, a quarter of the damage because you use Protect, but it should still deal a decent chunk. Yeah, that still did at least half, so you're going down next turn. Great. And then you use Protect this turn, so I doubt you're using Protect again next turn, but y you could. That's always an option. It just only has a 50% chance of working the next time you use it. But okay, what's, what's the last Pokemon that you brought? Rillaboom. So you didn't bring Copperaja at all. Fascinating. Okay, well, I may as well just try to take out the Rillaboom right now. And then we'll do Max Flare. We'll get the Sun going. Even if Dragapult is going to use a Fire-type attack, I'll have Sun on the field so that my Pokemon in the back that do have Fire-type attacks, can, or Gudra anyway, can deal more damage going forward. And that way it gets rid of the Sand, because the two Pokemon I have in the back can't deal with the Sand. And as much as I love your Pokemon getting hurt by it, I don't, I don't need the Sand on the field anymore. All right, which one are you Dynamaxing the... Dragapult? Or no, the Rillaboom, because that's a Pokeball, right? You didn't catch Dragapult on a Pokeball. Yeah, Rillaboom. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So you might be going for a Fighting-type attack, which would boost your attack stat, which would be a little worrisome. But let's see. Phantom Force. Okay. Wise option on your part. It gives it pretty much a free turn without getting hit. Alright, Ice Punch. Man, that did not do much. I might be in trouble here. We got Max Knuckle on the way, and that's going toward Lucario, I assume. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. All right, so Lucario's out. Your attack stat goes up. All right, so I've got Lapras and Gudra in the back. As much as I'd love to send in Lapras and just use Parish Song right now, I think it's in my better interest just to... Or, hmm, let me think about this for a sec. All right. Sand's going to be gone. I hope that was wise of me to do. Okay. I could send in, oopsies, I could send in Lapras and then swap it out for Gudra in case he goes for a grass type attack because Gudra has Sap Zipper, which means it can't get hit by a grass type attack. So I'm going to start with Lapras and then immediately switch her out for Gudra. And then my Dynamax is over. She was Dynamaxed with three turns. That's the end of it. Okay. I'd love to be able to throw Mawile back out and get another Intimidate off, but that's okay. So, yeah, I'm not even going to try to go for Protect. I'm just going to go straight for Gudra, waste one of this Dynamax Rillaboom's turns, and then we'll go for... I guess Sucker Punch. Mawile's about to go down. May as well get one last hit in. No matter who that Dragapult's going for, I'd be in trouble. So, okay. So Gudra comes out. Get the Sucker Punch. Won't do much. Yeah, that's a defensive Rillaboom. Is that what you do with Rillaboom? Because I've never actually fought one competitively. I guess it's supposed to be defensive. Mawile's out. That's fine. Rather, you, you, I'm actually glad you went for Mawile and not Gudra, so, or I guess what would have been Lapras. Max Overgrowth, I'll take that. Thank you. And then you don't get Grassy Terrain because of that, which is great on my side, because Grassy Terrain would make it so that you heal at the end of every turn, and I don't really need that right now, and I don't want you to heal. I need you to just keep losing your health. Okay, so the Sun is still in effect. I do want, I, it, it's probably dumb of me, to do this, but I do want to take out that Dragapult, and I am just going to protect with Lapras for now, because this is the last turn Rillaboom will be Dynamax, after which I won't be super worried. So we'll protect with Lapras, 
He changed the terrain to grassy terrain again. That's, or in the first place, that's fine. Dragon darts, dragon moves are weakened because misty terrain is in effect. Okay, that's one. That's two. I'm alive! Okay. And then max overgrowth, obviously on the Lapras, otherwise it wouldn't work. So Lapras should be able to survive this. Man, that did a lot. That did a lot. All right, I gotta like rework my EVs or something. I feel like that did more than it was probably supposed to. But that's okay. That's okay. So now we have grassy terrain. And now my dragon moves are weakened, but this should still be enough to take you out. And boom, Dragapult's down. That just leaves the Rillaboom. Okay. Now the Rillaboom obviously has a fighting tape attack, but it can't use grass moves on Gudra. Okay, we're all, we're all gonna heal a little bit, but I have two Pokemon going at you. I don't know if you have a spread move. Maybe you do. You're about to not be Dynamaxed anymore. So, I if you have Rock Slide, I could be in trouble. We'll see. I'm just not sure. You have Rock Slide. You could have Earthquake, but I don't feel like that would take both of them down. You might take down one or the other, but not both. So, Sun of Stone Effect will go for Flamethrower, and then let's we'll have both of them attack. Let's see what you go for. And there's drum beating. Okay, so that's probably going toward the Lapras. Yep. Okay. Lapras is out. Yeah. Rillaboom's tough. I didn't, I didn't realize how tough Rillaboom could be. But this should take you out. We have Sun in effect, Flamethrower. You have less than half your health remaining. There we go. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. See, those are the types of battles I like to see because he almost made a great comeback. He almost got it. Woo! Well, thank you for the match, Miguel. I also really should update my trainer card. I think it's funny that I haven't updated it in a while because it'll say that I've only caught, like, four Pokemon when <laughs> I've actually completed the Pokedex. All right, that's all for now. That'll do. Oh, I do want to update my rank real quick, so hang on. So I want to make sure. Am I still rank two or did I make it to rank three? Let me see. So go back into Battle Stadium. Go back into Ranked Battles. Obtaining data. Update my rank, please. And hey, I broke even! I'm on the winning side. Yes, I did lose twice, but I've won three times, so that much is good. Th that, those were good sample battles. This is a good way to start off the series, if you will. So, I'm enjoying this. I'll have a more refined strategy going forward. Ooh! I made it to rank four. We're just gonna skip rank three. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, Pokeball tier. We'll get some BP, 30 BP! I will gladly take that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, folks. Well, that'll just about do it for now. That wraps up this episode of Pokemon Bata, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you'd like to submit your own battle request, there's a form you can fill out in the description below. If you want to do a single battle, double battle with any type of request that you want, it's there. I'll be doing fan matches in due time. I'm just doing matches against random people because that's all I've got right now. Otherwise, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope to update this series regularly, and I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye, humans. I'm going to go train my Pokemon now. Whoosh. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe icon underneath the video. Be sure to click on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is out. Also, one of the best ways to support me is to follow me on Twitter. On there, you can see announcements, updates, and previews for all of my upcoming content. My tag is at Ryuyoshiller. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in future videos. Whoosh!